Good evening once again. I am French Shot Pearson and welcome to French Shot Blue. October 21st of 2024 is 10.41 in the p.m. Don't know how I overlooked this earlier. It came out about four or five hours ago, Central Time here. The House Task Force released a report today, yes, today, about the July 13th, this attempt, this attempt on Trump. Remember what is here on July 13th? Been decoding that all day. But you know what? I saw some things I want to share with you. I figured this would be a good tutorial, right? Good way to break things down because the Lord has blessed me with the five C's of clues, the codes, the colors, the confirmation of the time, which is also a conclusion and the dates. So clues, codes, colors, confirmation of time and conclusion. Let's listen to attentively to see what they're trying to tell us uh, speaking without speaking. And I'll point it out to you, okay? Listen for the um, uh, certain words and certain numbers. A new report on the July assassination attempt against former President Trump finds deep flaws within the Secret Service. The bipartisan House task force said the incident was preventable. In the 53-page report, lawmakers found a lack of planning and coordination between the Secret Service and local law enforcement before the rally. Mr. Trump was speaking in Butler, Pennsylvania, you may recall, when a gunman opened fire with a bullet grazing the former president's ear. Secret Service snipers shot and killed a 20-year-old gunman. A 10-year-old looking at that satellite image could have seen that the greatest threat posed to the president that day outside the security perimeter was the AGR building and that roof. A rally attendee was also killed and two others were injured. The Secret Service says it accepts responsibility for the security failures and has pledged changes. Lawmakers will submit. And you know after that, the actual director resigned as well, right? So yeah, they're working out some... Uh some kinks, right? They've made some serious uh, protocol adjustments. Now, remember, I told you, listen for the names, listen for the dates, the numbers. Check it out. A bipartisan House task force investigating the July 13th assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump said the event was, quote, preventable. That's according to a preliminary 53-page report detailing the shortcomings of the Secret Service and law enforcement that led to the deceased shooter Matthew Crooks opening fire at the rally in Pennsylvania. The findings were compiled by seven Republicans and six Democrats who conducted 23 interviews with witnesses. Their report reads in part, quote, fragmented lines of communication allowed Crooks to evade law enforcement and eventually climb onto the roof of the AGR complex and fire eight shots. CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland joins us now from Washington. Scott, good evening. What other new information have we learned from this report? We're going to hear from Scott. We're going to hear from him right here. So let's go forward. Let's bring in CBS News congressional correspondent Scott McFarland to break down the details of that report. So Scott, good to see you this morning. Uh, what else did the task force uncover? Yeah, this was such a profound, historic failure by the Secret Service. There are several different investigations underway. This is the latest of them, a House, a U.S. House task force releasing just an interim 50-plus page finding on what its investigation has uncovered so far. And what's noteworthy here, potentially novel here, is that in addition to the failure of communication, the failure of a command post, the failure of having radio set up in the right places, the U.S. Secret Service and its law enforcement partners on July 13th seemed to lack urgency. There was a failure to move things swiftly and with proper energy. They describe in this report a walkthrough before the event in which people seem to just be milling about versus walking with purpose. There was... Not good. Not good. This, this says a lot about the environment that we have for politicians and that we were definitely vulnerable. And if we we're vulnerable when it comes down to the President of the United States, we could possibly be vulnerable somewhere else in the eyes of what? A foe. Let's just keep it real. Now, what I heard was, and I pointed out to you, was the word fragmented, fragmented lines. Okay? Fragmented line and also a 53-page report. Okay, let's check it out. Now, 
Donald Trump's birthday is 6-14-2024. It happened this year. And the report just came out today, 10-21 of 2024. The difference between those dates, his birthday and today, it just so happened and conveniently to be four months and seven days. You say it louder than me. Come on, man. Come on, y'all. People, we just... It's a clown show. They're trying to get the 47th president. And you want to tell me that between Donald Trump's birthday and today's findings released by the House, it just happened to be four months and seven days ago? No way. Put in the comment section. No way. No way. Then look at this. Uh, they said a 53-page report. 53. Okay, look at this. The 53rd day of the year is February 22nd. Isn't that 222? Isn't that one of the most dangerous numbers that I show you guys on a, what, almost a weekly basis? That's dangerous. That's big time dangerous. You know that's the Antichrist number. You know it and I know it. Look at that. Donald Trump, 2227 King Donald Trump, the Beast of Revelation, Antichrist. Look at that. All that is 222 in Gematria. You gonna tell me that's coincidence? A 53 page report? And just so happened to be that the 53rd day of the year comes out to 222, February 22nd? Come on, man. Then look at this. They said fragmented. Didn't they say fragmented? Fragmented. Comes up to 48 in reduction. I've been teaching that on April 8th, what happened? There was an eclipse. When an eclipse came over the earth on April 8th, which is 4-8, what happened? An X came over. And I've been saying they're going to X. They're going to unalive DLT. That's what they're going to do. They're going to unalive him. But I don't want you guys to panic. When they unalive him, okay, and it looks like an X in his face to me. Wrinkle and blood, either way. Uh, it won't be him. It's going to be a puppet. Welcome new subscribers. I'm saying it's going to be a puppet. The goal is to fool us. The goal is to sap our energy. The goal is not to work with us. Distract us, take our energy. Trump means a lot to a lot of people. Okay? And when he goes down, psychologically, it's going to take a whole lot of energy, positive energy, out of our realm. It's a spiritual battle, baby. If you, if you never understood Christian principles, understand them now. The Bible says we don't fight against flesh and blood. We fight against principalities. And they have to war with the saints a certain way. You understand? And also with, 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 with the earth. So that's why they built him up so much. They built him up so much, and when you take him out, guess what? It affects us. It affects our soul. It affects our purpose because their goal is a one-world system. Get rid of all of these so-called leaders that they pumped up, and then they can rise somebody else. Do you understand? There are a lot of people who have met their demise because the Antichrist will rise up. It's one. It's a thing of as above, so below. Uh, they have to take out X amount for this Antichrist in order for the Antichrist to rise. At the same time, they have to uh, let a atmosphere rise from that. You feel me? It's just that deep, people. Now that we've seen that, look at this here. Today's date, 1021, report came out versus Barack Obama's birthday, who many believe is the Antichrist. And 84 means the system that they're bringing in. August 4th is Barack Obama's birthday. Subtract August 4th from 1021, you get 78. And guess what? Donald Trump is 78 years old. Do you think? Do you think that's coincidence? Watch this. Donald Trump's age. Donald Trump is 78 years old, people. 
The report comes out today. Barack Obama's birthday versus this, 78. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you understand what's really going on. These are the five C's. This is the gift that I have. I'm seeing through the scripted news. I really believe I am. And I want you to understand, be not deceived. Be not deceived. We need a spirit of discernment. Ask the Lord to guide and direct you. Humbly, he will. In Jesus' mighty, precious name. Guys, have a great evening. See you in the morning. God bless.